If you've ever been interested in creating a column chart with different length columns, it's attainable within Excel, but it is a semi-manual process to make it look aesthetically like this one does here. Um, what we're looking at here is an example of sales at a baseball store or a baseball equipment store by sales figures and items sold. So along the x-axis, you have the number of items sold, and along the y-axis, you have the sales dollars. So this gives you an indication that <clears throat> in terms of money, we, we make the most off our bats, but it's because they must be a very high-priced item um, in that we haven't sold that many items. So this is an interesting way to show multiple bits of information in multiple dimensions. Uh, but let's get started on how to make this. If we go here, we have the original data from the previous page in just the chart format. The first thing we need to do is decide what we want on the Y axis. And I've decided to showcase sales because most of the time people care mostly about money. And <clears throat> I think the Y axis is the most visually, um, or the, the thing that jumps out the most on a graph. So we, we keep this in descending order on the Y axis, the sales. <clears throat> For items sold, it doesn't matter if they're in order, but we want to create a percentage uh, share of each of the items. So let's do that. And let's make that percentage. And now that's basically going to tell us the number of lines we need to take up for each one of these. It will make a little more sense here as I show you. So now I need 44 instances of cleats. So let's run down here. That's 44. I need 88 on the count since I have two columns listed. So that's 44 cleats and 44 sales revenues. Bats, I need 15. So I need 30 to show up total since I got two things highlighted. Mitts, I need 11 mitts. So I'll need 22 since I have two things highlighted. That's way too many. <clears throat> Baseballs, I need 22 lines, so 44 when I highlight both of these. And finally, close for 7% share. So 14 of these when I highlight two cells. Too much. Okay. So let's go ahead and put item as the header here and sales here. And what we need to do is highlight all of our data, insert column chart, this first option here, and you'll get this chart with a bunch of little tiny columns. What we need to do is select one of those columns, format data series, and take out all the space in between them, and that's the gap width here. Now I always like to put the axis at the bottom, or the legend at the bottom. And let's go ahead and name the axis on the right. Now, <clears throat> you'll see that there's a bunch of the same um, title down here because we have so many List over here. So we want to find roughly the middle one and leave that and delete everything else. So that was definitely not in the middle. Let's go ahead. Do the same thing for bats. And the same thing for mitts. 
the same thing for baseballs. And finally close. Let's go ahead and rotate these to negative 45 degrees. And now to make it stand out just a little bit more, we're going to insert a thick light white line between these two. Push and hold shift. We'll make sure that the line stays straight. Let's make it white and let's make it three points. Let's copy that and move across the chart. And if you want to clean it up even just a little bit more, you can add text box for the number of items sold. So you could add text that said 600 here and 200. But that's basically how you create a multi width column or bar chart. So hope this helps. Thanks a lot for watching.